Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. Now this week we're rebuilding our homemade wind turbine and hopefully from this you'll get some ideas and inspiration on how you can build your own just like I did. So let's go. To build one of these what we used was a kids trampoline frame, some bicycle wheels top and bottom and a central pole in the middle that's covered by a, a piece of painted sewerage pipe. Okay, so now that you've got your rotating frame set up, you're going to have to figure out your blade setup next. Two different types are either a lift type or a drag type. Lift types like an aircraft wing, where a difference of airspeed between the top and bottom of the wing creates lift. Or the drag type is simply where air hitting the back of the blade pushes it forward. The first setup that we used was an attempt at a combination of the two of these that was loosely based on this, which is the fan from a car interior blower motor. How we did that on a larger scale was by making loads of these. This is a 6 inch sewer pipe cut into thirds with an extra section of square drainage pipe added on the side as an extra fin. We put 30 of these on the trampoline frame and it worked very well but its biggest drawback was that it didn't work very well in low wind speeds. It was reliable, it was tough, it took the storms but in low speeds not so good. So the next thing we did to get around that was we made a four blade standard drag type setup. Now that worked very well in low wind speeds but it was very fragile and it didn't take the storms at all and that's why I don't have one of them to show you because they're all broken up. So maybe with this you'll be able to fast track those two experiments with what we're doing this time. I went down the hardware shop, got a big length of corrugated drainage pipe like this. Corrugations are a great way to extend the surface area without actually increasing your height or the width or the required space that you need for your blades. As the wind is going to hit the whole corrugated surface, but it's in a much smaller compressed area. So to do that, we cut the pipe up into lengths like this and we cut away the inner skin between the corrugations, exposing them on the inside. Like the one that you see here on the bench in front of me. How we've combated the corrugations on the front is by using carry board and making it a flat surface once again. So we've got corrugations on the back, increasing the surface area, and we've attached the carry board on the front, again with some 6 inch sewer pipe cut into strips, making it a flat surface once again. Now I've had to write this down. The difference between those two surface areas, the corrugated surface is ten and a half thousand centimeters squared on the back side here so that's ten and a half thousand centimeters getting hit by the wind versus the front side which is only five and a half thousand centimeters squared so we've effectively doubled our contact area between the blade and the wind another important part to remember is that you don't have opposite blades that is, you don't have one blade getting hit by the wind on the back side getting driven and another blade getting hit on the front taking all your torque away. When it comes to your generator you've got lots of different options. You can harvest something from old machinery like this here which is um, from an old tumble dryer. It's got a permanent magnet core and then lots of windings. In the tumble dryer this would work by AC power being sent into the windings forcing the magnet around but if you're using it in reverse you're driving the magnet around it generates a single phase current back out through the wiring. The common one most people go for is these now this is one that's been taken apart. This is the eBay specials as I call them. We got these about two years ago. They don't reach anything like the rated to. The core is way too heavy. 
the magnets are good don't get me wrong you can see the corrosion all over it there so this is our generator that we're using on the turbine because the trampoline frame isn't perfectly circular we had to fit the generator onto this little carriage here the carriage just sits on these little wheels four of these to support the weight the aluminium frame that it's on has these holes here for guide rails to go through keeping it straight and the whole lot is just sprung on some little springs that we took out of um, you know the plungers from soap bottles and shampoo bottles that's what's sitting on the back nice lightweight springs making sure that the the wheel here which is just a skateboard wheel is kept in constant contact with the outer frame as it turns there is our vertical axis wind turbine back in one piece again in this new setup now there's only a bare whisper of a breeze today so I'm gonna go get the power washer and we can put some pressure on it and test it out but before I go I hope this video inspires you to have a go at making one of these and maybe helps you fast track past some of the learning experiences we made along the way so folks please do hit the like button subscribe to the channel share the video if you think it'll be interesting to somebody out there or useful and I'll see you in the next one y'all take care